Howdy folks. This video is going to be about how to remove the slide from the lid on a Thermos Alta stainless steel tumbler. I could not for the life of me figure out how to get this lid off. And that's because of the retention mechanism they have here. Essentially the way this works is uh, you can kind of see how let me try and hold steady here how those two uh, tabs fit together right there and uh, and then you know it just drops into place and then when the when the when the lid is slid forward towards the closed position what happens is the little wedge the little wedge down here bypasses the wedge here and so once those two bypass they kind of snap past each other then next time when you try and open the lid this little flat spot on the on the gray one here that little flat spot will hit that flat spot on the white tab and you won't be able to get the thing open enough it will it will stop at about about that location and so you won't be able to fully retract the lid in order to lift it out. You know, I thought before I assemble this, I would actually show you the assembly process. So this guy's just spring loaded and I'm just gonna put him right on top and uh, make, sure, make sure the tabs line up. So that tab will fit into the slot there, maybe. There we go. And then I'm just pressing that down because the spring's trying to push it on. And then I'm just going to snap it into place. And it, you should hear snap probably. There it is. Now, when you pull that back, it will not come back all the way. That's as far open as it's gonna go. Okay, so here is a uh, little diagram of how this lid uh, works. Uh, so what we're looking at here is kind of uh, like this bit of slider and lid is, um, is, is this bit of slider and the lid here. And you can't see it down here, but uh, this tab right here, which has this little wedge on it, uh, this is part of the lid. And then uh, this tab, it fits into this slot, um, which comes down here and is stopped by this. This is part of the gray lid, as is this little wedge. That's part of the gray lid. And the way you drop the gray lid in, like I showed a minute ago, is um, <clears throat> you drop it in and, and this tab enters through this slot. And then... Uh, um, as soon as you push the lid closed a little bit, um, this wedge has bypassed this wedge, so it will no longer open. So here's the kind of the closed position and the open position, and you can see how it's being stopped from opening all the way. Um, and so because it doesn't, you know, because of these two stopping on each other, you can't open the lid all the way, and so you can't get this tab here aligned with the notch, which comes down here, right, this notch. If you were able to uh, do that, you could just lift this slider completely out. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and put this lid in an intermediate position, uh, not fully closed, not fully open, and I'm gonna attempt to snake in a little shim through the edge here around this part and then between these two tips and uh, maybe I'll just use a piece of aluminum can that I cut cut up with scissors but I'm going to try and snake that in on each side and the hope is that having that shim between these tips will let let them bypass each other um, that shim will act as a ramp or whatnot anyway that's the idea we'll see what happens okay so I have cut a little strip of aluminum from this beer can 
But I'm having a challenge uh, fitting it into into the gap, uh, which would be right here, fitting that right in there, because uh, that gap is quite tight. There's a very little gap on either side, and so what I'm uh, what I'm going to try and do here is I have this uh, blocked up in a vise, bench vise, and I'm going to just, I'm just going to clamp down on the vise. And the idea is that the, uh, the vise will press here and here. It's not at all supported in between there. And then it'll press on the lid. It'll press on the lid back here. And so the hope is that it will open up that gap. So I'm just going to crank this vise closed a little bit here. And sure enough, look at that, that gap opens up, and that side opens up too. Okay, yeah, so that was only like a half a turn on the vise. So there's something I wanted to show you. I've not been successful yet, but uh, I, I think I'm making progress. Um, this side, on this side, you can see that shim has come through right there. So that shim is actually is actually coming all the way through here, and it's going around this white tab and uh, coming back out. That's exactly what you want. I think I need to do some more work over here because I don't see that shim coming through. Um, and so this, this one might not be deep enough, but uh, yeah, I think that's a good indicator that I'm on the right track. Okay, guys, I think this is going to work this time. Uh, I ended up having to make a, a thinner shim uh, for this location. I think the one that I had was too wide and so it wasn't fitting in the slot. And if you look down from the top, it's gonna to be a challenge to see here, but you can see a little bit of uh, the shim sticking out here. And then same thing on this side. Ooh, that one's hard to see, but there's a little bit of the shim right there. And so I think this is gonna work. Okay, yeah, that actually worked. It just uh, required uh, both thumbs to uh, apply more force. I had to get on, on it with this side uh, with one hand and push on the tab. And then same thing, sorry, I'm holding this phone with my hand. Uh, I had to push on uh, with my other thumb here. It just took more force, uh, but that was able to pop free. So I'm gonna give you some measurements here of how to cut these shims. Okay, guys, uh, just a couple of measurements on the shims here. So the slot for the uh, for this guy is it's a hundred thou wide. Okay, so that's how wide that that slot is right there, hundred. And so I cut these shims around seventy thou, seventy two, something like that. And that mark that lined up with the, with the corner of the lid, that mark was down about, let's see, how far is this? That's about 1.4 inches. And that mark, if you remember, when, this, when the shim was in here, uh, that mark lined up right right there and by the way you need a uh, there needs to be kind of a funky little uh, curve on these things because what you want to do is you need this shim to to fit in the lid needs to be partially open and you kind of kind of have to like open and close the lid as you're feeding these down and it needs to go around the white tab, which is which is here. It needs to go around that white tab. So it needs to go kind of like that. You gotta feed that in. And then it needs to go that way so that so that the the, the tip of that goes around, gets past that end right there. 
So you got to do some kind of like funky little dealio like that. And then when you get that thing to about there, then then you can, you know, on each side, then you can force it off. And by the way, it is kind of still forcing it off. Uh, you can see these these little guys are getting getting a little blunt here from me abusing them. Anyway, hope that's helpful.